Hey guys, I'm Sarah from Who I Among the Pages, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, great to see ya. I hope you stick around, and if you're not, then welcome back. Um, so, last week's video was our writing vlog, of course, and I feel like that was a little bit boring to watch. I hope not, um, but I don't think it would have been my thing to watch, necessarily. I did enjoy making it, though. Um, so this week is a totally different video. Um, I decided to participate in the 2019 Reading Rush. Um, if you don't know what it is, it was formerly known as Book 2 a so you might recognize that name. Um, and the whole goal of it was to read seven books in seven days. And that theme is carried over, but along with that, this year, I don't know if they've done this in the past, I have to admit, they might have. Um, you can earn different badges to put on your little count. Um, uh, by meeting certain criteria with those seven books you read during the week. Um, so for example, the first badge that I will be earning is uh, read a book with purple on the cover. So to fulfill that requirement, I am reading The Way of Shadows by Brett Weeks. Um, I'm really excited for this. It looks really good. The cover is not entirely purple, but it's got enough on it. I feel like it'll be okay. Um, I got this about a month ago now. I've been looking forward to reading it, so now is a good excuse. It's 645 pages, which sounds like a lot, but it's mass market paperback, and the print is actually fairly big for a, such a little edition. Um, so I feel like it'll be okay. It's going to be long, but oh well. It'll be fun. So the second book I have to admit I'm not really all that excited about. Um, but still, I've read some of his other books, and when I read them, I really liked them. So I'm hoping this will be a similar case, even if, you know, a year from now, I think it's terrible. Um, so the second book I'm going to be reading to fulfill the read a book in the same spot the whole time requirement is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Um, I did get this book on clearance. That's pretty much why I got it. Um, I haven't read all of his books. I read... The Fault in Our Stars in 2013, I think. I think it was, yeah, 2013, when that movie came out. I loved it at the time. Um, now I think it's less than stellar, uh, but I know I'm in the minority with that. Um, and I did read Paper Towns when that movie came out like a year later. I did enjoy that. I still think Paper Towns is pretty good. Not as great as I thought it was at the time, but I don't think it's bad. Um, so yeah, I figured to, for the, you know, read a book in the same spot the whole time challenge, I picked something kind of short, um, because I'd rather just, like, spread it and get it done all in one shot, like, one sitting if I can, and honestly, I think with this book it might be pretty simple to do. Um, it's 286 pages, and the font's not enormous, but there's huge space in between it. I don't know why they printed it like that. I guess just to make it longer. Because, I mean, I think they could have easily, had, if they'd had a uh, normal typespacing and um, font size, could have easily boiled it down to like 250 pages, but whatever. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. Uh, at least it's short. <laughs> so for our third batch, uh, read a book with over five words in the title. This was really hard to find a book for. Um, between my two bookcases, I only found three books that met that requirement. Um, one was this monster, The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. And I got this on sale uh, for Books Millions uh, Penny a Page Day. So I paid $7.30 something, I think, after discount for it. Um, and it's normally $32. So I'm really excited to read this. Um, it did meet that requirement, but it is still like 700 something pages. So, no. <laughs> this isn't going to happen in one day. Um, and plus, I, I want to be able to enjoy it and take my time with it. Um, because I know there's a lot of very intricate world building and stuff in it. And I don't want to rush that and miss something. Or um, just not be able to fully appreciate all of it. So this did not meet, meet the cut. For this challenge but still really excited for it um, the only only other two that I found one was um, the silence of the lambs 
can't remember who that's by. And I can't see it at the moment. But, um, so, you know, I think it will be a good book. I've heard lots of good things about it. Um, I do want to read it. Um, but I'm just not in mood right now for what I know The Silence of the Lambs is about. Because I've seen the movie, um, I like it. I really like the story. But I'm just not in the mood for horror right now. Not, like, I, I enjoy horror, but that's not really. It's summer. Like, that's Halloween. That's fall Halloween. You know, any time but right now, I feel like. Other than, like, some Friday the 13th, Camp Crystal Lake stuff, not really in the mood. Um, so I decided on the... Phantom of the Opera by Gaston LaRue. If I'm saying that wrong, let me know, but I'm assuming that's what it is because of it being French. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. It's a classic, and I don't read as many classics as I would like to. Um, I just don't tend to go for them, even though I like them. I just don't reach for them very often. Um, this is also fairly short. I believe before the epilogue, it is 274 pages. Um, so epilogue, prologue, counted together, it is 282 pages. Um, not long, but I really, really enjoy the 2004, um, movie with Gerard Butler and Emmy Rossum, I think was her name. I really love that movie, um, so I think the book will be good, or at least be interesting to see the liberties that they took from going book to movie um because I almost I never <laughs> I almost never watch the movie first but you know the silence of the lambs and the fame of the opera was the same same deal um and I know it says more than five words um but I'm hoping a five will be okay because the only one I had over five was the priory of the orange tree and I no way <laughs> that would not get done in a day um so yeah I'm really excited for this one so the next badge was Reedy Five Star Book, and I also really had a hard time with this because I didn't know whether to go by Amazon's Five Star Books or Goodreads because there's no clarification. So I decided to go by Goodreads, and I found that on my TBR on Goodreads, I had no Five Star Books. I don't know what that says about my reading tastes, um, but nonetheless. So I decided for this to go with the highest rated book that I owned and wanted to read. Um, and that came out to be, surprisingly, um, at 4.45 stars, The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. Now, it's been a long time since I've read her books. I shouldn't say a long time. It's been like three years or so since I read uh, the Throne of Glass series. I loved it at the time. I really, really loved it. Um... Now, I don't really know how I feel about it now. I haven't even read the last book. Uh, but this are the this is the book uh, prequel novellas. Um, so hopefully the fact that I don't really remember much of the original story won't matter. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I got this towards the end of my Throne of Glass obsession. So I haven't read this. Um, it is fairly long, actually. It is... 435 pages um, but again it's a YA book so the spacing between lines is pretty pretty decent um, so yeah we'll see how this goes um, I know man I sound like like all these books I'm so apathetic about um, but you know I'd rather read books that you know I maybe don't know as well or you know maybe I'm not as excited for and be surprised by it than trouble myself with this challenge um, I read books that I've been hyping up for like a year now and then hate them because of this challenge. So I don't know if that makes sense. I hope it does. Um, but yeah, so for the five star book it was the Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass because it was the highest rated book on my Goodreads TBR that I owned. <laughs> it's the only one that was higher, um, was An Echo in the Bone by, um, Diana Galvedon. And I didn't want to read that yet, of course, because I haven't read the books in between Drums of Autumn and that one. I'm not, you know, I don't want to spoil it for myself. I'd rather read it in order. So, there we go. And then also, 
uh, The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson was a little bit higher too. I think that was like 4.65 stars, but I didn't own it and I wanted to go with books that I did own already. Um, so our next badge is read a book that you meant to read last year. There's a lot of them for me. Um, but I decided to try and stick to my July TBR that I had already made um, and read Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. So the first book in the Grisha trilogy. Wanted to read this book this uh, anyway this month. Um, so I feel like this will be a good opportunity to go ahead, get it done. Um, it's got fairly big type, good line spacing, and I don't think it's that long really. I think it only comes to about 356 pages. They're not that bad, really. Um, considering, you know, the line spacing, I don't think it'll take that long at all. Um, so yeah, this will be our read a book that you meant to read last year book. Really excited for that. Can't wait to get to it. Um, read a book with a non-human main character. So, initially when I read about this badge, I was like, oh, the Warriors books. You remember those? Um, I read a bunch of them when I was in elementary school. I loved them to pieces. Um, and I thought of, I actually thought about reading one. Uh, but it's a child's book. It would take significantly less time to read it than it did for me back then. Even though I tore through those books, it would probably take me even less time now. Um, so, for that, I decided instead... To actually do a reread of a book that I really loved, um, Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I did read this a couple years ago, and then I don't know, I just didn't pick up the rest of the trilogy right away. So, honestly, I don't remember a whole lot about it other than the fact that um, I don't want to say what, what she is in case you don't, you don't know. Um, but the main character isn't human. You find out later in the book she's not human. So, I'm using this to fill that requirement really excited for it. I love this book. I don't know why I didn't go ahead and read the rest of the trilogy, but I've been wanting to. So, there we go. A lot of first books in this, in this, uh, this list. So I hope I am able to, like, go on and read the series before I forget it. Um, let's see. Then the next requirement is already fulfilled by our first book, The Way of Shadows by Brent Weeks. Uh, read an author's first book. So I got to Googling around finding the chronological order of like publication of his books. It looks like The Way of Shadows and The Shadow's Edge, the second book in the Night Angel trilogy, were published the same year. Um, but I'm assuming since The Way of Shadows is the first book in the trilogy that that was published first. Um, and then his other series is still ongoing and was published after this. So yeah, that's going to fulfill our read an author's first book requirement. And then the next one was read over a thousand pages. And of course, if I managed to do this, I've read over a thousand pages. No big deal. Um, read and watch a book to movie adaptation. So for this, I'm going to use The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston LaRue that was fulfilling our read a book with over five words in the title. Um, I've, yeah, I've seen the movie, but I'm not going to miss an opportunity to watch it. I love it. Um, then uh, make a Reading Rush YouTube video. So here we are. I'm already getting one badge. And then our last badge that I will be giving is read seven books. And from what I've said so far, we have six. And I decided to help myself out with my TBR and go ahead and put Season Storm by Lee Bardugo on the list. So I'll have gotten the second book in the Gersha trilogy done if I manage to do this, which I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. Um, once again, it's 350, looks like 430 something pages, um, but same big font and line spacing, so it's really, it's no big deal. But yeah, that'll complete our seven books in seven days. Um, I really think everybody should do this. If you love books, you love reading, and I've gotten a little bit behind with my Goodreads challenge this year. So that'll bump me up seven books and I'll only be like one behind. Maybe I'll be caught up. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, everybody should do this. I'm really excited and I'd really love if you would join me and let me know how you're doing. I'll have to, I'll have to make a Twitter account 
and link that down below so then we can talk back and forth about how things are going. Um, as always, make sure to check out my Wattpad. That's linked down below. Um, number nine is almost done. You know, I'm just finishing up the last, plotting the last couple chapters and then have to go on a writing binge and just get this done. Um, and then my other, I'm still working on my other project, my NaNoWriMo project. Um, it's going really, really well. I like it a lot. Um, you guys will see that probably sometime in September to October. Um, so honestly, it's not a very long time from now. It, you know, it kind of seems like forever and a day from now, but it's not at all. Um, yeah, I'll be back in school by that point. Um, if you don't know, I'm a creative writing major. Um, so yeah, I'll have to get you guys updated with some of that as it's happening. Um, otherwise, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and check out my Wattpad. Um, and take part in this reading rush with me. All right. See you guys next week.